My name is Zach Hoga with Minrig Drives, and in this video we're going to explain the different jumper configurations you can do with the HTL-05. The first jumper we're going to go over is the AC input jumper. This drive accepts 230 volts or 115 volts. Before applying power to the drive, you want to make sure this jumper is set to whatever voltage you're using during your application. The top two pins is for 230 volts AC, while the bottom two are designated for 115. The next jumper we're going to go over is the DC output jumper. This drive can output 24 or 12 volts DC out. You'll want to set this jumper to whatever your motor's rated voltage is. The two pins on the left are for 24 volts, while the two pins on the right are for 12 volts. The next jumper we're going to go over is the analog control jumper, the J503 jumper. The J503 jumper controls whether the input signal is 0 to 5 volts or 0 to 10 volts. If you're using a speed potentiometer, you'd want it set to the 2 and 3 pins, the 0 to 5 volts input signal. If you're using a PLC that had a 0 to 10 input signal, you'd want to switch that jumper to the 1 and 2 pins. The next jumper we're going to go over is the J504 jumper, the potentiometer jumper. This jumper sets whether the potentiometer controls the drive in a bi-directional mode or wigwag mode or in a unidirectional mode, just in single forward or reverse. It's factory default set in unidirectional mode. If you want it bi-directional, you have to switch it to pins 1 and 2. The next jumper we're going to go over is the J505 jumper. This is the inhibit personality jumper. It's set factory default at normal inhibit. If you wanted to change it to invert inhibit, you'd have to change it from pins 2 and 3 to pins 1 and 2. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Minerick Drives. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerickdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-6950.